Hi all, welcome to my channel and welcome to John's Bottle Baking. Today we've got Iron Man issues 55 to 58 and we've also got another edition of the Premium Bears. This is number four and these three, these four I should say, uh, there's three for the right thigh and then we get a shin guard in issue 58. And there's not a fantastic lot to do, there never is with these issues, not with the legs anyway. Uh, the arms were very similar as well obviously, being two of them. Uh, <laughs> we also after this hopefully move on to the torso I know we've got the hips and pelvis probably to do or pelvic area to do but uh, we've got the torso to do so there'll be no doubling up of what we've already done because there's only one torso also as you can see at the back over here I've got my back to the future logo up and at the side of it is the Iron Man power bank now that will power that up for about two to three hours so it looks nice and catchy at the back and you can see the uh, left leg of the Iron Man next to the Iron Man statue as well so anyway even though this is not going to take us a great lot of time there's still interesting stuff in the uh, magazines with the comics they do spread over different decades with the um, different uh, editors and um, artists that were involved in the making of Iron Man over the decades from the 60s onwards so they're always uh, a, a good read so uh, anyway without further ado let's get on with the build okay so here we have the magazine on page one the history of Iron Man future heroes Avengers the initiative Following the victory for the pro-registration side in the superhero civil war, the time has come for the entire superhuman population to sign up and train to prevent further incidents. That story goes on for three pages. That's a uh, very good artistic work. And then we've got the instructions for the right thigh second part. There you go. There we go, let me get the blow up. And then we have Madame Mask, her relationship with uh, Tony Stark. This is a few decades back, as you can tell, with the uh, artwork. That goes on for four pages. Um, I think there was a love hate relationship there. And you can see Madame Mask removing her mask there to show her true identity. And then we have ultra modular armors two by two this is an interesting one kidnapped and trapped inside the god killer a vast and ancient weapon Tony Stark learned that he hadn't just been raised by his parents but also by recorder 451 a member of an alien race the regalians who see Tony as a potential pilot for the god killer there we go interesting stuff and there's some nice armor of Iron Man and on to the back page what we got next build right thigh three against the invasion war machine there we go and Avengers the initiative number 12 excellent anyway let's have a look see what we've got uh, to do these are the parts Nice chunky. Oh, I thought that was metal, but it's not. It's plastic. No, oh, it is. It is metal, actually. <laughs> it's all white plastic. <laughs> and that's metal as well. What can you do? And all we have to do here, put this little piece in here. As you can see, two location holes, wind it up, and snap it into place, just like that. So there we go, that's them two pieces done, eventually that is where it will reside, on the back of the leg, excellent stuff. Okay let's move on to issue 56, okay look issue 56 is the magazine against the invasion war machine, this is the first article. James Rhodes has been a successful marine pilot bodyguard and even Iron Man, that was his friend that was, sorry, that was why his friend Tony Stark offered him the war machine armour which had the power of an army. Excellent stuff. There we go. 
that's the first three pages and we move on to the instructions again now a fantastic lot to do in this one there we get the blow up it gives you the location of where the parts will go and then we have strike force of violent era the tendency towards darkness and violence that was seen in popular fiction at the end of the 1980s spread to the comic industry in the 90s the genre adapted the forms but not the base and a new way of making comics arose a lot of different heroes there i'm not particularly uh all that familiar with that particular uh uh decade of uh heroes and strike force anyway so that might be a good read later on that's four pages worth and on the back pages we've got dark angel to fight magic this is all about the armor sometimes it's very hard being iron man and a series of misfortunes but what little patience tony stark has to, to, to the test as a man of size magic makes him uncomfortable and when he has to venture into the ten realms he does so in a new armor excellent stuff as always brilliant artwork and there we go on the back page next issue build the right thigh four and force works volume one okay now let's have a look see what we have to do with issue 56 there are the parts we also need uh, the final assembly from issue 53 so I'll grab all of that okay there's the parts and there's a part from issue 53 and basically all we need to do with this is to put this piece which is a letter R on it on here there are two location holes there two pegs on the back of this line them up and clip it and to place just like that and that is all we do in issue 56 plates 56b and 56c will be added to the other pieces in future issues to complete the right thigh of the mark 3 armor there we go that is it and that shows you the location of where the parts will go eventually so let's move on to issue 57 rapid okay no issue 57 we'll pop these to one side and here we have the magazine first article a new era the five nightmares of tony stark that goes on for three pages and here's the other five nightmares tony stark himself refers to the five nightmares which are that one day he won't be strong and his alcoholism will overwhelm him again the second one is that techno logical progress will render the iron man armor easy and cheap to replicate then the third that someone other than him or his friend james Rody rose will pilot his armored suit and the fourth that the armor the very concepts of iron man will become disposable and banal in my heart i know it's because without iron man i wouldn't know what to do with myself he reveals and his last nightmare trying together several of the above and that he himself could be the one who might render the Iron Man armor cheap and disposable. Uh, there we go. Let's uh, go goes on for three pages. Obadiah Stane's uh, son and Pepper Potts. And here we have the instructions. Again, not fantastic lot to do. What we do get to get the screwdriver out in this one. And then we have the exploded view. And then we move on to evil stark a thousand worlds a thousand destinies excellent stuff excellent artwork again that was on for four pages and then on the last page of the last article hope buster four the sins of the past one facet of Tony Stark that might be somewhat questionable and his tendency to make contingency plans for any situation even going so far as to prefer the defeat of his own allies which doesn't say much about Tony Stark's loyalty as a friend no it doesn't there we go then on the back page we have the next issue which is build the right leg one and scroll attack 
the story behind the invasion excellent stuff right let's get on we're getting the parts out and here we have the parts so first of all we've got IP screws and what we need to do here is to place that there and there so as it looks like that and then screw that together with the IP screws and lo and behold my screwdriver still works it's been redundant there we go that's that piece in place there's a further piece that goes over the top there of course uh, now there are two caps and um, basically that one's R1, that one is R2. I don't think it really matters which is which. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, we use R1. And this one. And it will only go in one way, like that. It's a bit of a loose fit though, so I think I'll have to glue that in. They easily snap in these. Oh, that's a little bit better but i think i'll pop some glue on the back of that just there afterwards now this other piece goes on here what we did in the last issue as you can see they will only go on one way um way it's shaped it won't go clips in like that and you can't turn it around anyway there we go that is that complete that's issue 50 seven done so there we go that's uh, the magazine showing you exactly what we've done and where these parts go i don't think there was another exploded butte no there wasn't not with this issue okay no, let's move on to issue 58 here we have put them to one side there we go in the comics the history of iron man scroll attack the history of an invasion the schools are veteran villains in the marvel universe shape-shifting green-skinned aliens who have attempted to invade earth on various occasions using their powers of infiltration and obviously that's different with the uh, marvel films that we're seeing they're not exactly villains the victims but in the comics they were villains there we are cracking artwork and then we got the shin guard and then a couple of parts all we do is put that on there and that over the top screwed in place there we go not a fantastic lot to do but when we do uh, attach this to the leg it does make a big difference so hopefully in the next four issues we'll finish this leg off and here we have the exploded view and then we have a story of Hawkeye, the everyday hero. You know, just watch the series uh, not so long ago on uh, Disney Plus, and that was very, very good. Uh, if you've not got Disney Plus and you love these Marvel films, um, it is well worth uh, subscribing. Uh, the series, uh, including Hawkeye and Loki and Wanda, they've all been brilliantly done. And it's it. Uh, Hawkeye has always been an interesting character and on the last page we have the armor Endor Sim armor superior to all others in the Marvel Universe this is a recurring theme that heroes are turned into villains by means of mental manipulations substitutions are evil doubles these turns to these turns to the dark side generate new dynamics in the storylines. Bit of a tongue twister that for me that was. And then on the back page, next issue, build the right leg to Legacy of Doom, Knights in Shining Armor. And the New Avengers Volume 1 number 4. Excellent stuff, right. 
let's get on with doing the build. Here we have the parts. There we go. This is metal, these are plastic. And basically that goes there like that. And this piece goes over the top there and is screwed into place with an AM screw. Now this is metal. Just found my trusty egg cup. There we go. Nice tight fit. I like that. That is brilliant. So, four issues and three screws. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Well, that looks pretty good. You've seen it before, obviously, with the other leg. Uh, we'll have another decorative piece there and we'll have some more, and the, obviously, with the rest of it. And the foot. And it does look impressive when it's uh, all built together. And here we have the exploded view of where what we've done and where it goes. Excellent stuff. There we go. Okie doke. Right, all we need to do now is the premium base 4. Okie doke. There's the parts, there's the instructions. And then we attach it to the rest of the stand. So let's get them out. Okay, simply put that there and then we screw it with HM screws, four of. Then all we need to do is attach it to the base. Show that one then straight. There you go, that's the first step. Oops. Where's that come from? There we go. Screws all over the place. Oh, kiddo. Now all we need is the rest of the stand. Is here. And make sure that sits there should line up nicely with that anyway let's get the screws out <coughs> black plays habit with the cameras i've adjusted the uh, white balance on it and bags play habit with me Is. Let me just zoom out. Let's zoom in, John. She's a biggie. Let me just try and sell the camera. There we go. Look at that. What a monster that's going to be. See the PCB and the switch here. So I think we've got another three parts there. Yep. Obviously something goes in that hole though as well. well. That is brilliant that. Excellent stuff. I think that is it now, that is it. Yes, issues 55 to 58 complete. Let's have a look at what we've done to that. Got all these parts. And premium base four. There we go. Those are all the bits and bobs from today. Lovely jubbler. Oh, 
Oh, there we go, folks. Uh, another month of uh, Iron Man uh, completed. I do like this shin guard. That's brilliant, that. That's a nice chunky piece of metal. Ah, that is worth the money. Sometimes when you get them, you just get three pieces of plastic. And, mm. But the end result is going to look fantastic. Anyway, enough of that. I hope you enjoyed uh, reading through the uh, comics as well, or magazine, I should say, with all the stories in. Some of them are brilliant, some of them I don't relate to because uh, out of my time basically. But anyway, it's all hunky dory now. So next month we've got 59 to 62. Um, so 42 more issues left for me. I'm not going to do the battle damage at Iron Man, um, but this will look fantastic on its uh, stand here with it all lit up. Um, and the power bank has gone out now. So that didn't last very long. I must have drained it. <laughs> oh dear oh dear anyway if you didn't like that give us a big thumbs up uh, subscribe hit that notification bell and i will see you next month stay safe bye for now